What's up guys? Welcome to Tomoy87. This is your space for entrepreneurs, social media enthusiasts, you know, all of my people that are into content and brand strategy. Now, I am your girl Tomoy and I am so pumped about today because of the YouTube algorithm. I have taken it you know, to another notch today, up another notch. I realized that I took it for granted that everybody that comes here already knows what an entrepreneur is. And to my surprise, that's not the case. So today, if you are interested in finding out what is an entrepreneur, stick around. But remember to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so YouTube algorithm can help us to continuously bring you videos like these and more. Thank you so much. Let's get into this video. All right, guys, so I'm going to give you what an entrepreneur is in my words, right? What I think an entrepreneur is. There are many explanations out there, but I'm sure if you wanted to hear it from everybody else, then you would not be here. So I'm going to let you know that to me, an entrepreneur is a person that sees a need and decides to take the risk to meet those needs. Now, there are so many risks in being um, risks in being an entrepreneur. Like there are many, but there is especially monetary risk. So I will sum it up to say an entrepreneur is a person or yeah, a person that sees the needs of others and decides to take a monetary risk to get it done. That is what an entrepreneur is. I'm sure that you're looking and saying, oh that's it, that's so vague. That's all she was going to say. Uh, I could have looked that up on Google or something, but I am not just going to say that to you and leave you alone. I have my handy dandy notebook. Now, if you guys are the types that watch cartoon or used to watch cartoon, you know Blue's Clues, right? You know Blue's. Stop acting like you don't know Blue's Clues. Um, I still watch cartoon. In all of my 30 odd years, yeah, I still watch cartoon, I still love cartoon. But anyway, that's not what we're talking about. So, my handy dandy notebook of all the little notes that I want to share with you guys because I love to research and I love to ensure that I give insightful meaning of things and whenever I have an idea or whenever something pops up in my, uh, pops up in my head, I like to write it down so that when I give it to you guys, it is given to you in the right and proper way, alright? So, I'm going to tell you how to tell if you are an entrepreneur. Now, these are only some of the many things that are out there, some of the many things that could um, help you to distinguish between being an entrepreneur or not. So um, let's jump into them. Number one, um, the thought of a normal job frightens you, it scares you. you. You can't even begin to fathom working for somebody or you have worked for others but it has killed you it's just not something that you want to do like when i gave up nursing and teaching people thought that i was crazy right but i just knew that, that that was not where i was supposed to be that was not where my calling was that was not where i was going to make the most of myself and so Probably that's the reason why you're here right now. Probably you are second guessing um, your career. Probably you are thinking of leaving your career, especially in a time like now, in 2020, at this minute when all of this is going on, you know, and you are thinking to yourself that um, I need to do something new. I need to create in a time now when everybody is thinking of creating and people are thinking that you're crazy. But believe me, you're not crazy. People thought I was crazy. People always think um, entrepreneurs are crazy and that leads us to number two. People are going to think you're crazy or people are thinking that you're crazy. Now number three is plain and simple. You like being in charge. You just like being in charge. 
You like to lay out the rules, you like to lay out the plans, and as much as that sounds vain, it is the truth. You prefer to be the one leading, you prefer to be the one in charge, and that leads us to number four, you are a natural leader. People follow you, people believe in you, people want to hear what you have to say, and people entrust themselves in you. They will leave things up to you because they know that you will get it done, right? And according to my handy dandy notebook, number five, you hate unfinished projects. You don't like the thought that something was started and it is not done. You hate it. You can't be bothered with it. You can't even understand why people would start something and not finish it. You, 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 you just... You can't rest, you can't sleep unless it's done and you don't know how other people sleep and it's not done. You don't, you don't understand. Why, why are they sleeping? Why are they resting? Why are they so calm? There's work to be done. It needs to be get done like no. What, what, is, what is the problem? So next, you are neither an introvert nor an extrovert. You are none of the above. You prefer to be alone with your thoughts and your ideas. You want to be by yourself, to create, to come up with, to finish your, your, your things, to write your brand strategies, to write your contents, create your contents, whatever it is you do to create contents. So, but also, you love to chat. You love to chat about the things you know. You love to teach people about the things that you know. You know, you're like me, you're right here. You find that you chat so much sometimes and another time you just want to cut everybody off and be alone for a very long period of time. And that is okay because that means there is something within you that you prefer to be quiet, to hear it, to understand it. And if you are a child of God, you know that God speaks to you whenever you are most silent. So when you are silent, you gain more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And when it's time to let it all out, you go out there and you make the whole world know. And you continuously chatting, 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 and making them know. So you're neither, you're neither an introvert nor an extrovert. You are just you. Next, you admire other entrepreneurs. You admire them. You, you, in, you are inspired by them, you look up to them, you follow people like, you know, Elon Musk and all of these people, you know. You follow people like Erin Winters, and if you are Jamaican, you follow people like Nicole McLaren Campbell. You, you follow these people because you like to look up to other entrepreneurs to see what they are doing, to understand where they are coming from, right? You are more you when you are learning from others. Learning from others just gives you that seal to go on, to, you know, it pumps you. You prefer to be learning and researching than to be partying and all of those excitement. You prefer to be sitting here on YouTube, finding out more about what you can do about your life. You prefer to be here at Tamoy 87, finding out what Tamoy has to say about being an entrepreneur. And I thank you for that, because that shows me how much you value being who you are called to be. And that helps me to realize that I am truly being who I am called to be. I am. Lastly, you research trends very closely. And that goes back to learning. When a trend comes out within your niche or within the business you know, arena, you follow it closely. You want to see how best you can stick to this to incorporate it within your life, right? You, you tend to follow along quickly to business trends. You know about the business side of things. And even though it might not be the conventional type because you might not be um, the conventional business type person. You might just be the type that love gigs and all of those things. So gigging is a whole new world for you. And the, the, the fact that you are interested in all of that shows you that you are indeed of an entrepreneurial mind. Now, I said lastly, but to be honest, last but not least, is that you are right here. 
on this channel with me sharing in what I think an entrepreneur should be sharing in what I know an entrepreneur is to be sharing in wanting to be more than you already are and that shows you enough to tell you that yes you might very well be an entrepreneur you might very well be the next big thing to come out of your family. Now this is your girl Tomoy and I want to thank you for making it Tomoy 87. If you have stuck around to the end of this video, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so YouTube algorithm can help me to give you great topics like these because it is, it is actually what brought you this topic today. I am so sorry I took it for granted that everybody was already um, off the know what an entrepreneur is but remember that you are now in the know. You now know that you might be an entrepreneur. See you in my next video. Bye bye.